Hey, hey. So the new movie with Ben Affleck's out and it's on Netflix. Oscar Isaac's in it too. And it's about five special forces soldiers who go to South America to rob the world's biggest drug lord. And obviously, they aren't going to go down without a fight. So, it looks like it's a real movie. Like, it could actually happen. They're all around 40 years old. And they spent years working. And they're broke. And they need money. Red Fly, Ben Affleck said, They take your best years and spit you out. He's a failing real estate agent. Pope Garcia, Oscar Isaac's uh, advisor. Ironhead, Charlie Hunnam's a speech giver. Ben's a cage fighter. And Catfish is a helicopter pilot. They decide to rob the world's richest drug lord. Pope's the smart one, and they do it because of him. He figures out the raids by talking to the authorities and his drug contact, Giovanna. They're all friends, but they're really all in it to make money. And there's lots of money to be made. Tens of millions. They just have to get it from a rich house in the jungle. And then run. And hope they don't trip. It turns out to be 250 million. And of course, they try to take as much of it as they can. Which turns into over a hundred bags. And you can probably guess they won't be getting the money and getting away with it. With that kind of money, something will happen. Or people will come after you and they won't stop until they find you. Which could be a good movie for Liam Neeson to find out who stole his money. Pope sets up a Russian helicopter to take them over the Andes. And, of course, the bags are too heavy to make it over. The crash is really fun to watch. They crash in a cocaine farm. Then, they try to get away, and they have to keep second-guessing their heavy bags. It keeps flowing with every step. There's a lot of life-changing moments, and you can bet people's greed comes into play. And the movie kind of focuses on that and the downward spiral from it. There's some nice landscapes and sets that would have made the movie good alone before social media. It was shot in Oahu, uh, Hawaii, Colombia, and Mammoth, California. It's amazing the movie's actually here because it was written by Mark Bull like 10 years ago. With Johnny Depp, Tom Hanks, Channing Tatum, Tom Hardy, and even Will Smith attached to it. Mark won an Academy Award for The Hurt Locker, and J.C. Chander rewrote it. The movie's look look is uh, kind of like it was a it's a rough draft. Like Mark was interested in the idea and wrote about it. But when he saw that the movie wasn't going to be easy to get made, he moved on and this is where he left it. The story's a bit light. There should have been uh, some more about the guys. There's five guys, but like they're all like they could be clones. Ben and Oscar kind of hold it up. It struggles to take things to the next level when big things happen. And you'd think the drug lord would have put the money in the bank. Or some sort of bank. But it's cool to see these guys go through the adventure. And it's fun to watch. So I'll give it a like. What do you think? Leave your comments below. And check out my other videos. And subscribe.